Hey everyone, this is Matt Ray from Den and DJ down at GetInTheMix.com and I'm here with a brand new SC5000M, the brand new media player in the Prime series. So let's look at what is new. Check this out. So the SE5000M retains all the award-winning features of the original SE5000 player, but this time, as the name suggests, we've added a motorized platter. This is a brand new motor design. It's a brushless DC electric motor with two torque settings. We have our normal torque and our high torque. Our high torque has an instant startup of 3.3 and our low torque has an instant startup of 1.6. There's also a motor on and off setting. So if we turn the motor off, we can simply nudge the track. If I go back to my key point here and put my motor on, you'll hear this now is vinyl mode. Our platter also features the same chamfer design as our VL12 Prime turntable. So with the chamfer design, this means it reacts more subtly to subtle nudges when you're doing long blends. So the AC5000M ships with a real piece of 7-inch vinyl. Now you can actually customise this to have your own 7-inch vinyl on the platter. It's very simple, we just simply attach the vinyl to the platter and then tighten to your specification using the included Allen key. So another change to the hardware of the FC5000M is we now have a graphic for instant doubles. So if I switch to layer A now and double tap, you'll see we now have an instant double loaded just with a double press of the select load button. So as I mentioned before, the SC5000M retains all of our award-winning features of the original SC5000, such as our multi-touch, multi-gestural screen. Now this is powered by our quad-core processor. So this allows me to browse my crates and playlists using swipe gestures. So for example, if I load a track, I can swipe to the right and have it loaded into the deck. If I now go back to my crate and swipe to the left, this is now loaded into my prepare panel. Now access the prepare panel by tapping here and you'll see a list of recently loaded prepared tracks. Once a track is loaded into a deck from the prepare panel, it's then removed in sequential order. Also with a multi-touch screen, this allows us to pinch and zoom our waveforms. With the quad-core processor on board, this allows us to perform door-style time stretching, which is something you may be used to in any type of music production software. So to give you an example of that, using the key lock, I'm going to take this up to plus 20 and manipulate the pitch down. So you can hear there, the track is still intact. There's no artifacts, the bass is retained, and all the melodic elements are still in place. Another feature of the Prime series is our emergency track. This means if a stick gets accidentally removed, the whole track is cached into the RAM of the player. And that looks like this. So once a stick is removed, it will give me a message telling me that a stick has been ejected incorrectly. I tap OK, and you'll see on the screen, my whole track is retained. But not only that, I can still manipulate the track using the pads, but also nudging the platter as well. I can also beat jump through the track as well. And I can take my stick and insert it back in. and continue as normal. Check. So dual layer is another awesome feature of the Prime series. And to demonstrate that, if I press layer, you can see in the corner of the screen here, we have layer A and layer B represented on this graphic. Now, right now I have two tracks loaded onto one player. So if I run off this first track now, and then I switch to layer B, I can cue in this track just as I would cue in any other track. Here now we have two tracks coming from one player using the split RCA out.
Now, if we look at the platter, you'll also see that with the SC5000M, we've retained our RGB coloring. Now, if we utilize the Cat5 connection in the rear of the X1800, we can actually change our cue lights to reflect those on the player. And that's done by simply tapping shortcuts, tapping the color wheel, and you'll see, as I move around the colors, my cue button changes accordingly. So if I have a dual layer setup on both players, I can color coordinate them to my taste. Onboard analysis is also retained with the SC5000M. This means if I take a stick from Traktor or another third party software application, once a stick is inserted and a track is loaded, within 10 to 15 seconds, the whole track will be analyzed with beat grid, key information, and BPM information. So that's a quick overview of the SC5000M, and these will be available in store or online from gettingthemix.com. Check this out. 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 Check this out.